Okay, so in this tutorial, I will download a PTM model, predictive technology model from website. Uh, I will be working on 65 nanometer technology and I will design an inverter. I will simulate it using MPS file. So let's go to predictive technology model website and go to latest model tab and download 65 nanometer DC4 model. That you can do from here. Uh, 65, 65. Age relation PTM both using 465. Okay. Let's download it and let's save it as file, save as and in LTS by summer and see this ex extension is dot PM, right? So save and that is it. So you can see the model file here. Right click, open the work tab, and this is the model file. Okay, and let me remove all these things here from here. Select and delete, and put a star. This is just a comment with a 65 millimeter model, and this is for NMOS. And if you go down sides, you will see for PMOS, this is for PMOS. And model name is PMOS and NMOS for that thing. So let's include this file. One way is to just simply let, let me first open my circuit file. LTS files, we have already done it for CMOS inverter. So let me resave it. CMOS inverter file, save as uh, inverter 2. And this is version 2, CMOS inverter VTC version 2. And uh, now my uh, BGD is say uh, one volt or one point two volt or whatever. So let's keep it at one volt. And this is the transistor size. And my because my minimum length is sixty five nanometers, so I will use minimum length for digital CMOS. And again, sixty five nanometer here. And width is usually two times for NMOS and for PMOS it will be four times. So let me write dot param. I am defining a parameter W2 equal to uh, 360 nanometer. File save. So this WP will be replaced by this 360 nano and I can perform the simulation. Now this is default model, so I have to include with this model but one way is to just copy and paste and just press Ctrl A, Ctrl C and come here and remove them. Ctrl V. So this way you are able to attach the model. Control S. So well, so you have attached the model, and you can run the simulation. Okay. This is all. And one thing is that I am I will have to shift my VIN now from zero to one volt, the VDD that I have taken. Now run the simulation, and you can see Control A, V out. Now you can see this is the VTC. And it is going from 0 to VDD. Okay, good, great. Now, other way would be to not to just copy and paste. This looks uh, very dirty. Just write simply uh, dot include and the name of your model file. So it is here 65 mm underscore bulk bulk dot pm 65 mm bulk so 65 mm underscore bulk with extension file extension is dot pm that we have already seen dot pm 65 mm underscore bulk dot pm and I think that is it. File save and let me just rerun the simulation. Oh, couldn't open the file. Why? Right. 
let us see why it's not working. Okay, so this txt command, maybe, ah, uh, what is that? txt again. This is just so weird. Ah, well, let's, uh, let's control A, control C, and let's uh, delete this. Yes. And let's open a text document. Do control D and maybe that. Okay, so there are one extra file save as and name it to uh, say 65 mm bulb. Okay, and that is it. And save. Okay, so this way I have saved this model file that I downloaded from PTM with this name. And all this, the thing, all that is that, that you have to do is to include this model to 65 mm. And then let's what's happening. Dot txt. And now I think that is it. Okay, so press control A and load. So this, this this is very nice way to include model files that you download from somewhere because model file may have a lot of lines and it will look very dirty to just copy and paste all these things into this stuff. So you just keep uh, all your files, longer files like this, and you just use this dot include statement with the file name and extension, and it will get included. So what this is what is happening here is basically this line will be replaced with the content of the material that is contained in this file and that is it so this way we can include the uh, model and everything okay good so in the next tutorial i will be performing uh, parametric sweep for this cmos inverter thank you